okay, hey, you all don't know this because when you, you watch it, when you watch it, it is 1 a.m. here in Chicago. I was having problems sleeping because I kind of took this really, I took a nap. You know how you take that nap and, and you wake up and then you can't go back to sleep? That's where I am right now. But I wanted, this has been one of the things I wanted to work on. So I said, just go ahead and do this. So I'm doing this filming. Now I am doing this thing. You know, everybody's putting out their fall stuff. Oh my God, fall's here. Fall's here. Fall. But, um, and I'm going to do some fall shit too, you know, because hey, it is what you do on YouTube. But what I wanted to talk about first was this, this little series that I'm doing. It's a SOTH, which of course, if you don't know, that means stunting on the hose. Three snaps, stunting on the hose. And um, these are fragrances that I purchased kind of like, you know, through spring and summer when the, when the weather changed. And I said, oh, I love it, but I'm not going to wear it now because it's just a little too heavy for the warm weather. So... I um now I get to put pull them out. So this part is calling this one I'm calling it uh you know ready start what am I calling it whatever you see in the title because I don't know I can't remember what I've decided to call it but these this is going to be things that I have purchased that I can't wait to use in the fall and that includes makeup so I have makeup that is like more fall appropriate there'll be a whole fall there'll be a lip and eyes and things like that to talk about those things but this is just the fragrances that i have that like i'm like yup it's getting cool outside yup i'm gonna be rocking these yup 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 and so i don't know if y'all needed all them yups but that's what this is so these are fragrances that i haven't worn a lot but i can't wait i've been like in anticipation to pull them out for fall so yeah go and stay hang out don't leave if you don't want to if you want to bye hi there it's editing lulu I know I haven't been on in a while, but I thought I'd come on now to talk for a second. So as I was doing this, as I was watching myself in that middle of the night uh, video, I thought about, I said, I didn't even talk about my latest note obsessions. As fall approaches, is it just me or like there's certain notes that you're just looking for, you just want, that's just like you are vibing? So this year, last year was all about the oud. This year it's all about amber, plum, and what's the other one? Honey. Oh man. Oh, last year was coffee too. Uh, I'm feeling amber, plum, and honey. I think those, oh, and Santal. Not sandalwood, Santal. So those are like the four that I'm major things that I'm like, every time I see it, I'm like, ooh, what is it? I might need it. So I know, so do you do that kind of thing? Is that the way you vibe too? If so, tell me before you finish start watching my picks tell me what notes are the your notes for this fall oh and cherry i almost forgot cherry y'all cherry yeah cherry okay so i'm gonna try to go through these quick because i pulled out quite a few so i'm not gonna be talking about notes or anything i'm just gonna talk about you know what i remember about them because some of them i haven't even sprayed in quite some time so i'm just gonna pull them no particular order. We're going to see what I got. So first off, we have Elisab Essence Number 3 Amber. Can y'all see that? Yeah, okay. So this is Essence Number 3 Amber. Um, it's an amber fragrance. It's a Kirk John. It's very similar to Grand Soir. So it's kind of got a Grand Soir vibe, but at, you know, it's a little bit, of course, a lot more inexpensive if you can find it. And it has been coming up more on the gray market. So you can check Fragrance Net, Fragrance Buy. They've been getting more of these essences through the Ellie Saab line. And these are really stunning quality because they really have that, 
you know, let's just be honest. We want Kirk John, but we don't always want to pay the MFK price, the Maison Francis Kirk John price. So you might as well go on and try to get some of these at a much more inexpensive price. So this is Essence Number no. Three Amber. This one is Javoy's Pavilion Rouge. Um, here, let me let you all see Pavilion Rouge. Um, I got this a while ago. I know it's an amber fragrance. Cause I heard somebody talking about it in an Amber video. I think probably Sebastian. And I said, oh, okay, that's what it is. All right. Um, but yeah, so I got this. I got it at a really good price. And that's how I got it because I wasn't even thinking about it. But then I got it. I said, okay, okay. All right. I'm, I'm kind of digging you. I'm digging you. Oh, speaking of Elisab, I forgot I have another one. Cure Yalan. This is another Kirchhoff. Um, But this is the, this is leather and yalan yalan oh my god this is so sexy oh, oh. Mm, mm, mm. but this is not for everybody it's not for the faint of heart it's not for the demure people no for if you're a little shy you're an introvert you don't want people noticing you this is not the one you want but i want it because we know i don't have any problems with being seen and heard clearly Okay, next up is this one. This is Teo Cabanal's Alahin. This smells like a spice market to me. It doesn't say a lot of spices in the notes, but it just has this very spice market kind of vibe to me. It's very, ooh, I almost dropped it on my foot. Um, it's, all, it's very rich and deep and kind of mysterious. So yeah, wanna, can't wait to wear that one. Then we have right here, we have Anique Goutal, my latest pom pom, which is Tenue de Soiree. This is a iris based fragrance. So it's got, can I get the thing off? So it's powdery, very French, very, you know, sophisticated, very, you know, just, it's a very beautiful daytime fragrance that I will wear in the fall. It just has this kind of vibe to it that it might be like, yeah, I'm wearing my tenue de soiree. Soiree here, baby. Soiree. <laughs> I couldn't help but say it all like that. That was so extra. Then we got a few Montals. We got these Montals. We have dark purple right here. Now... I just got dark purple. I'm finally starting to dig her. So I got I to gotta give it some chances. I got to give it a little time. I got to, you know, spend some time with dark purple to see, is it the plummy, sexy goodness that everybody told me? This is Honey Oud. And I already know I love Honey Oud. Honey Oud is doing the damn thing. It's Honey. It's Oud. It's spectacular. Um, if, if you love Honey, if you love Oud, now it has the Montau Oud in the beginning, so it's gonna hit you with that Montau Oud, which is very screechy, which is kind of, kind of over, can be a little overbearing. But, but if you can get past it and let it dry down, it becomes a beautiful honey Oud creation. Then Sweet Oriental Dream, which is almond and vanilla and powdery. Hold on. I gotta sneeze. Which is this almondy powdery gem. This isn't for everybody. You have to really like almond. You have to like that powderiness that you get from, you know, just that sweet powdery vibe from almond. It's one of those things that just makes you feel like you're so you just all cuddly and everything. You just you just like a cuddly little teddy bear when you wear this. So that's my top. Then we have Maubasson Liquid Amber, Aubusson, Aubusson's Liquid Amber. Oh, 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 now you can get these super cheap, but this is a really great amber for like $15, $12, you know. It's just, mm, it's it's very well done um, and lasts pretty decent. And besides the fact it's $12, you could put this stuff in decan, you can spray yourself all day in this, you know. You could just spray yourself all day with that one then of course la belle la parfum um because this 
is the richer, darker, sexier LaBelle. I see the thing was with LaBelle, the original, I never thought of it as sexy. I thought of it as flirty. That pear vanilla is a very flirty, girly vibe. But this is the darker, sexier version that is, you know, this, the color is correct. It's just singing to me. And it's time for her to be pulled out because yes, yes, yes. Then we have this. This is Night Oud by Martin McAuliffe. Um, I will always say that the Oud in McAuliffe are very good if you I was like starting with oud and you you want to like you want to try it but you want to have a something that's a little more interesting not like everybody's wearing but you want to try oud these are good ouds to try because the oud is very well blended it is strong especially this one has a stronger um oud than Ro royal rose oud but it's so well blended. It works so well with the florals in here that it's a, a really beautiful fragrance to wear. So this is Night Oud by McAuliffe. Then, of course, got to pull out some ganache because, you know, I love JC and me. We, we friends. But this is from the coffee line. Now, these are up right now. Now, I don't know. I'm just telling y'all, JC wrote like genre perfume for parfums. You got to get in while he while he opens up and then he shuts down again. This is just what he does. We I love you, JC, but that's what you do. And this is just call me. Oh my goodness, this is a stunning, stunning plumbed um rose. Oh, it's just oh my goodness. I just love this fragrance. It is so it is so deep and sexy and and swanky and well-bred this is like um if you bought from ganache you know that is very gourmand very gourmand driven very literal a lot of times this is very perfumery it's got you know oh it's got beautiful accords it is just stunning and it's in a straight department lasts all day and then this is your sweetness this is coffee honey block orange blossom and honey mm -hmm. i know you never thought this was going to be a thing but it is a thing it's a thing it's a thing it's a thing it's a thing so it's like a coffee drink but it's a much more highbrow coffee drink you know this is those drinks that they have at those um you know when you are going to like here in chicago in the gold coast area where you're going to go to like a high-end um hotel and you're going to be at the you know you're going to be hanging out at the bar and you say i want a coffee drink and they say i got you i got you you know i just need a little cup of coffee while i'm sitting here and they're going to come out with this beautiful coffee drink that's what this is your sweetness all right next up let's talk about my latest lover Okay, not my lover, but you know, I love his stuff. And that's Dreamhouse Akirio. Let's talk Dreamhouse Akirio. So what we gonna talk about? I got a bunch of them that I'm like, that are perfect because he, like I said, he has deep, Vincent has deep fragrances. So with that, got a few of them, you know, I got a bunch. So let's talk about them. We're gonna do Chaconiac. Do I even need to say anything? Chocolate and Cognac with Yalang Yalang in it. Boom. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Chaconiac. Boom. That's all I'm saying. That just screams fall, doesn't it? I mean, doesn't it just make you feel like, yes, it's fall. I need to have this in my life. Why is there a fly up at this moment, time of night? Then we have Edolon. Edolon? Mm -hmm. mm. This is, this is very um kind of gourmandish very ooh, very refined very you know otherworldly as i always say you know until you try vincent's dream house curio you can't understand the quite interesting quirkiness of his fragrances because they very much 
are in his aesthetic. They work with his aesthetic, but they're quite intriguing and captivating. So this is Edolin. I will not keep going on and on. This is Rose of Venus. Ooh, I love a good low rose. And this is a stunning rose. It's kind of spicy, very, very rich, very provocative, very much, you know, in my kind of thing that I love. And of course, Anwen. Anwen is white chocolate with passion fruit. And even though you think passion fruit, you think, oh, it's going to be tropical. It is not. It is just this um, very feminine, very, um, feel, it feels very romantic in a quite a, I want to say like steampunk, you know, very, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Not middle ages, but very Victorian way. Come, It has a Victorian vibe to it, but a very, you know, 2021 Victorian vibe. You know, like how we would imagine, reimagine the Victorian era with our edge. So kind of steampunky. So that's on when. Then, of course, I have some new ones that I've been talking about that y'all, we just did the video on. So I'm gonna pull them out and I'm gonna say, hey, yep, these are them. So, um, Kayali invite only. Yup, yup. I'm not even gonna front. This is a great fragrance. Yep, I'm gonna be wearing it this fall. I'm gonna be like, you know, just being real subtle about it. Just, you know, throwing it on just to see, you know, letting people know I'm, I got that invite only on. Then, of course, the Entre de Rouge. Oh, what? Yes, baby. La Entre de Rouge. Because it is killing the game. It is spicy tuberose. It's a gingery tuberose. It is nice. That's all I'm going to say. Boom. Yeah, Givenchy got in again for this one. And you can tell I'm pretty laid back. Like I said, it's 1 a.m. And so I'm really trying to like, you know, be productive with my why are you still awake bullshit, okay? Then we have this, and I will be talking about these more. And, and obviously this is going to be one of my goods because this is for um, Dolce & Gabbana, The One Essence. Oh, y'all, this got a Samantha in it. It's kind of got this peachy, apricotty. It's got this apricotty orange bar. It's beautiful. I'll talk about it more in the good, the bad, and, and the meh. But y'all already know this is a good because you're going to see this in advance. You could be like, oh, 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 yes. So that's um the one. And then this one, and I'll be talking about it more, but I'm going to tell y'all, y'all should find this because it ain't too many of them, and it's very inexpensive, especially on FragranceNet. This is uh, Chacudra, and this is Royal Rose Morocco. <laughs> okay. If you want... Okay, and I, I'm going to find it because I have a decant of it someplace around here. It's so sad. I have so many decants I can't keep up with. Tabak Rose, if you're looking for that, I'm going to tell you, you don't need it if you get this. And the reason why I say this is because this is smoky. This is incense -y. It's got tobacco. It's got, it's a smoky rose. And it is gorgeous. And it is super inexpensive. If you get it on FragranceNet, it's super inexpensive. It's still pretty inexpensive on Fragrance X. But if you can find it before they sell out on Fragrance Net, this thing is so good. This is 100 mils? Yeah. Yeah. And on Fragrance Net, it's about $39. This will give you that vibe if that's what you're looking for. And you still like going back and forth, especially like with BDK, Tabak Rose, at that price, you don't want to spend it, but you want that vibe? Yep. Right here. Right here. Right here. Then I have this one. This is Dolce and Gabbana, the one desire. This is 
um, like the step before they went into the only one and the only one intense. So it's kind of similar, but not, so it's not as in, it's not quite as intense as those. It's not, of course, got the coconut note or anything of the only one intense, but it does vibe like that. It's like um, the kind of toned down version. So if you're trying to be a little more low key, you're just not trying to stun on the holes like you would with your only one intense and really take them out. Just, just be like, then go ahead and get Dolce & Gabbana, the one desire, because that will give you the same, uh, it'll give you a similar vibe, but on a much more calm, chilled out version of it. <laughs> All right. I think I've hit everything. Give me a second. Oh, I almost forgot about this. I almost forgot about this beautiful, stunning bottle. This is Amouage Interlude. This is one of my newer Amouages. And this baby ain't playing with you. This is beautiful it's got that honey it's one of these it's honey almost smells like oh, what the fuck is that i'm sorry i saw a bug i'll I be freaking out um it's got a um uh you know it's got that honey it's got um a very almost similar to kind of like creation e like that coat that dr pepper kind of vibe in the beginning but then it dries down and becomes quite stunning quite swanky and plush on the skin you know, it, it, it's an amouage, so it's not for everybody, but, you know, I love the journey of an amouage fragrance. It captivates me. It's intriguing. And you, you know, you're not going to smell like anybody else. Y'all know this is my high end. This is my expensive one of choice because I, I can't afford Krigler or Clive Christian. I'm not even trying to go down that road. I ain't got the coins like that. I would need, I would need a, um, a perfume daddy. Oh, perfume mama. I'm not discriminatory at all. Never. <laughs> Y'all know who I am. So, you know, for the people like, oh, clutch the pearls. You know who I am. You know who I am. Even at 1 a.m., y'all know who I am. Okay, so that is it. Now I'm going to have to put all these damn perfumes away, these fragrances away. But anyway, I do this for y'all. Um, this are, these are the ones that I pulled out that I am excited to get to this fall. So thank you. So do you have some stuff that you've done? Like you bought and then it was like, oh yeah, it's good, but I can't, I'm not going to use it now because it's summertime. You got some stuff like that. Do you have some beauty, some perfumes, some fragrances that I know you do. So go on and go on and let me know in the comments. I appreciate y'all for, you know, you know, just hanging out with me for a little bit. All right it's you know who you know who i am thank you all for watching as always be bold be brave be fearless be free have a great day talk to you later